Hey, we're checking out uh, inverse operations and fact families. This is a PowerPoint presentation that Hugh Portinger put together. And this is Mr. Saunders. I'm going to try and talk us through this. First of all, inverse operations are when you have multiplication and division facts families. So if we have, so for example, 3 times 5 is 15, the inverse of that, the opposite, would be 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Um, one operation, as it says, shows there, can undo another. Um, just like we talked about with fact families, any set of related multiplication and division equations which use the same number are indeed fact families. Let's check out our next slide. Let's do some practice here. Let's say that a band at a football game played five songs, and each song was three minutes long. How long did the band play, and how many songs did the band play? Let's check it out. The band played five songs, each one was three minutes long. So we're going to figure out how long did the band play. As our equation shows, 5 times 3 equals 15, so our variable of n is going to be 15. The band played for 15 minutes during the football game. Now the next question is our inverse operation. How many songs did the band play? Let's say they played for 15 minutes. They played three songs. So we're going to do 15 divided by 3, which is going to equal 5. So it looks like Drew, we've got to fix a few things here with our equations and our, our quotient there. Um, we have it correct here, but we need to fix, fix it here. The band did not play six songs, they actually played five. So I'm glad we caught that. Fact families. With what we know now about inverse operations, let's see what we can do with five, fifteen, and three and see how many different facts we can make with that family. So let's take a look. If we start with fifteen, that's our largest number. We're going to want to divide here. So fifteen divided by five will equal three. We can do another division problem by doing fifteen divided by three equals five. Now using the same numbers in a different order, we can make multiplication problems. Let's start with three. We can do three times five equals fifteen. Next we can do five times three equals 15. Here's some more that we can try. Let's try uh, number 2 here. Let's try 2 times 4 equals 10. Let's see what we can solve for n and see if we can also write an inverse operation for it. 2 times 4 will equal 8. So n will equal 8. And then our inverse operation will be 8 divided by 4 equals 2. If we want to try another one, let's try number 3. Let's go 3 divided by, I'm sorry, 12 divided by 3 is going to equal 4. So our variable of x will equal 4. Now if we do an inverse operation, we're going from multiplication, we'll need to go, I'm sorry, going from division, we need to go to multiplication. So we'll do 4 times 3 equals 12. Let's look at number 4. For number 4, we have 28 divided by 4 equals y. 28 divided by 4 equals y. y will be equal to 7. And our inverse operation will be 7 times 4 is equal to 28. Our last problem here is 5 times 3 equals 3. So we'll do 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Our variable of z is equal to 15. Our inverse operation would be 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Now you might be wondering, Mr. Saunders, could I do 15 divided by 3 equals 5? Absolutely. It's your choice as to how you want to do your inverse operation. Fact families. Let's practice a few fact families. For this first one, we have 2, 3, and 6. Let's make a fact family with 2, 3, and 6. So we can go 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And just like you had your question before, we can also do 3 times, oops, 3 times, let's erase that for a moment. And write that a little more neatly. Let's go 3 times 2 equals 
6. And then our division problems would be 6 divided by 2 equals 3, and 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Good. Now let's move on to problem number 2. This fact family, we're using the numbers 4, 7, and 28. So let's start with multiplication. 4 times 7 equals 28. And then we'll do 7 times 4 equals 28. For the inverse operation, we'll do 28 divided by 4 equals 7. And we'll do 28 divided by 7 equals 4. There's our fact family for 4, 7, and 28. See, as Drew says, this isn't too hard. If you still don't get it, try some of these practice problems here where we have our 2, 3, and 6 fact family. Give those a try there. See if you can come up with a missing number. Did you get it? 2 times 3 is going to equal 6. 3 times 2 is also going to equal 6. Using the same numbers as 6, 3, and 2, we can see 6 divided by 3 equals 2, and 6 divided by 2 will equal 3. So that's our presentation for math book lesson 8.1 and our inverse operations. We'll talk to you and see you again soon.